Welcome to the Nash Potatoes Outdoor Show. This is travel vlog number nine. I'm at mile marker 47 in the Florida Keys, Marathon Key. Don't go anywhere. So, I ended up at Marathon Key simply because I couldn't afford to go to Key West. <laughs> Key West is like 450 bucks a night. Marathon Key, you can get a place for like 170 a night, which is more affordable. But this uh, island, I guess, is really sweet. I've got a bike to ride around. And I'm checking all the nooks and crannies, all the little side streets. I walked uh, 20 miles in the last two days. So I got blisters on my feet, sunburn on my neck <laughs> and my forehead. <laughs> So I'm all covered up today, got the GoPro as well, and uh, plan to get a ton of good videos. There's some really cool, unique spots, and that's kind of what I'm looking for. Um, so don't go anywhere, I'm gonna keep on moving. Thanks for watching. Once again, I ventured to a place I'm not supposed to be, <laughs> and once again, it reaps the greatest benefits. Man, this place is really sweet. I'm gonna, it looks like an old bridge that is no longer, and so I'm gonna, jump onto my GoPro and get a good panoramic view of this spot up here. Marathon Key is beginning to, uh, let me turn around this way a little bit. It's becoming a huge place for me to explore. I've already gone um, seven, almost eight miles. Oh, there we go. And uh, I feel like I've just barely touched the surface, but I'm actually going all the way around the circumference of the island and finding all the cool spots. So I'm gonna keep on moving.
found some more new construction. I don't know if they're rebuilding after the hurricane or what, but there's a lot of really cool places being built right now. The hurricane was two years ago and apparently there are still a lot of people cleaning up from it, but I've been hitting most of the side streets, but I have gone uh, 13 and a half miles already <laughs> on my bike. So I think I'm gonna quit hitting the side streets. <laughs> Um, there's a few really cool spots up ahead that I can't wait to see. Havana Jacks and um, oh, there's another place I went to last night I can't think of the name of right now but there's some cool spots up. I'm actually headed north like towards the Miami area and there's some super cool spots but I'm going to keep on moving. Here we go. Quick update, I've gone a total of 17.6 miles. Just stopped into this hotel for some ice. The lobby was surprisingly really nice. I don't know what the rooms look like, but friendly service and really nice lobby, so you might want to check it out. Can't read the name of it backwards, but something motel. But I'm gonna keep on moving, it is a hot one today. Here we go.
tally is now 21 miles and counting. Whew, gone through two bottles of water, but I'm enjoying it so far. I'm kind of on my way back. One thing about the Marathon Key that I thought is kind of crazy, you might know that I'm a kind of a water snob, used to work for Epic Water Filters, and the water here tastes really, really good. It tastes like uh, maybe natural spring water or something along those lines. I don't know what the contaminant levels are, but as far as the chlorine and stuff, that, the stuff that you can taste, it tastes really, really good. So I've got um, maybe just a handful more places I want to show you. There's like a Florida, Florida Keys steak and lobster place. And then I will cruise past my hotel, even though I don't have much good to say about it. <laughs> That's another story for another day. I'm going to keep on moving. Here we go. Back at the beginning, 26.2 miles, baby. Is it still considered a marathon if you do it on a bike? <laughs> Thanks for watching travel vlog number nine. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. We will see you next time.